<clears throat> so in this session we will understand the seismic gap so when we are saying seismic gap there are two parts to it one is the geographical look region along the plate boundaries which we call them as a seismic gap because of their uh, inactivity in sense of earthquake and then there is also seismic gap the theory of seismic gap suggested by S. F. Fedoto, so which helps us in uh, uh, suggesting the possibility not predicting exactly but uh, suggesting the possibility of uh, major earthquake along the particular segment of the plate boundary so we will see both of these and then we will also see what are the seismic gap along the uh, himalayan plate or himalayan plate boundaries then finally we will see the significance and how relevant is seismic gap theory so uh, when we are saying seismic gap recently there was an article uh, in indian express and other major uh, newspapers so this was study conducted by wadia institute of Himalayan geology. So, uh, they found out that along the particular segment of plate boundaries in Himalayan region, there are uh, there is continuously stresses building up. Precisely in Dharchula region of Himalayas, uh, there is a uh, building up of stress because of which there are micro and moderate uh, magnitude earthquakes are frequently occurring, but there is no major earthquake. So, they are suggesting that this particular region there is enough stress for possible for the possibility of any major earthquake so when we are saying a major earthquake uh, that that major earthquake has a magnitude of more than or around 8 so wherever we say that there is a major earthquake its magnitude is 8 or more right so we'll see what that study suggested so that study says that there is there is a large concentration of micro and moderate magnitude earthquakes in the Dharchula region. So, let us locate Dharchula region. So, this is Uttarakhand, this is Nepal and this is Uttarakhand-Nepal border or India-Nepal border. So, this yellow mark is the place called Dharchula. So, another important location is there that is here somewhere is Lipu Lake Pass. pass. Sorry. So, this is Dharchula, here somewhere is Lipu Lake Pass. And along this particular stretch, seismologists from Wadia Institute are predicting that stress is building up and that stress could lead into a major earthquake. Now, another important map entry as we are looking into this map. So, just these are two most important map entries that is one is Rakastal on left and another is Kailash Mansarovar Lake. Right. So, uh, this is Dharchula region, the region in the discussion. So, this particular region and adjoining areas of Kumon, Himalaya are witnessing micro and moderate magnitude earthquake because of the stress. So, whenever two plate uh, collide with each other, they at places they get into lock, locking position and as a result of locking, they, they build up a, a significant amount of stress which is when released is a major earthquake or uh, any uh, earthquake of any intensity let us say. So, the large concentration of earthquakes are release of stress. So, in near future, there is a likelihood of an earthquake of a high magnitude. So, this high magnitude is nothing but a magnitude of more than 8 on the Richter scale, right? So, uh, in last 500 years, there were only two incidences of an earthquake of uh, say 8 or higher magnitude on Richter scale. So, one was in Kangra that is in 1905 and other is along the Bihar Nepal Nepal border. It is famously called as Bihar Nepal earthquake of 1934. So, between these two points, there is vast region of say, uh, say some 600 kilometers vast is this segment and that particular segment has not witnessed any major earthquake in the past, right? So, that particular region is called as central seismic gap. So, this is what precisely uh, seismologist from Wadi and Stock Technology suggested. So, now we will see what this seismic gap exactly or how we define seismic gap and then we will also see what are the seismic gap along the Himalayan 
region so uh, seismic gap or it is alternately also called as seismicity gap is a region where earthquake activity is less compared to its neighborhood along the plate boundary so always remember a seismic gap would exist only along the plate boundaries because that is the only region which witnesses <coughs> uh, earthquakes so 90 percent of the earthquakes are along the plate boundaries only right so seismic gap another way to define it is a seismic gap is a section of a fault that has produced earthquakes in the past but is now quiet so uh, as we have seen only <coughs> look at this map so in 1905 this is kangra earthquake and in 1934 this is bihar nepal earthquake so this particular segment hasn't witnessed any earthquake in last so many years but precisely in last 500 years there were only two incidences of earthquake of major earthquake so this is the particular segment which we call as a seismic gap right now uh, there is a theory of seismic gap so the theory of seismic gap was given by a soviet seismologist so what soviet seismologist sf edotov did so he took earthquake uh, data for say 1906 to 63 for Japan. So he studied all the earthquakes which occurred during this particular period. And what he finds that he finds that uh, the large earthquakes, large earthquakes, they were in a segment which was quiet for last 39 years. So put it in other words, so a particular segment there is a high possibility of witnessing an earthquake of major magnitude every 39 years. So, this is just an extrapolation from that particular theory. Uh, it must not be so true. But his studies found that large earthquakes were from the region or in a, in a segment which did not witness any earthquake or major earthquake in last 39 years. So, that was what the theory of seismic gap given by S.O. Fedito. So, he, uh, from that particular theory, he suggested that uh, whichever region which they have not witnessed major earthquake in past are more likely to witness major earthquake than the regions which have already witnessed the major earthquake. So, it is very natural that but along the plate boundaries, so there are particular segments where stress builds up and that stress is released in the form of a major earthquake, right? of more than 8 on Richter scale. Now, there are also regions, there is continuously stress is building up, but that stress hasn't yet released. That stress hasn't got released. And as a result of which, there is high possibility of earthquake occurring along those regions where there were no earthquakes in recent past. Right? So, that is what was suggested by SFA Roto. Now, we will see what are the seismic gaps in Himalayas. So, in Himalayas, Seismologists have precisely found three seismic gaps. One is Kashmir gap, another is central gap or also called as central seismic gap and the third one is Assam gap. So, uh, this uh, Kashmir gap, there was uh, one major earthquake in 1885 at Baramulla. But uh, in the, that particular region, there are uh, conflicting opinions that Baramulla earthquake wasn't that intense or it had no high magnitude. It is suggested by some seismologists. And the last uh, earthquake of higher magnitude was, was in, say, some 16th century. So there are conflicting opinions. But by and large, it is taken that the last major earthquake in that uh, this particular region of Kashmir was in 1885 that was Baramulla earthquake. So, from that point, that is one point where earthquake, uh, major earthquake incidents took place. Then there is one more point that is in Himachal Pradesh, Kangra and in 1905 it was struck by a major earthquake, right? So, between these two locations, there are there is no point or no location where there was a major earthquake in recent past or in say last so many years, so 500 years or so. So, this particular segment, we call it as a seismic gap and precisely we, we have named it as a Kashmir gap, right? Now, after Kangra earthquake of 1905, there is one major earthquake in 1934 that is at Bihar-Nepal border and between these two locations, there is no incidence of a major earthquake for again say 500 years or so. So, this particular region, it hasn't witnessed 
or it is not struck by any major earthquake in so many years and that is why it is called as again seismic gap or central seismic gap similarly there is assam earthquake of 1897 and assam tibet earthquake sorry again so this is assam earthquake and this is assam tibet earthquake so assam tibet earthquake was in 1950 assam earthquake was in 1897 and between these two points again we do not find any incidences of major earthquake so we call it as a assam gap so this is third gap this is second gap central seismic gap and this is number 1 kashmir gap so as per the theory of seismic gap or seismicity gap we can expect now major earthquakes between these lines along these along in this this particular regions right so what seismologists do they uh, they keep continuously tracking the stress building along this plates or plate boundaries and they also find uh, particular segments in this particular Uh, seismic gaps which have higher stress than the surrounding region so uh, similarly for dharchula so dharchula is located somewhere here so they are saying that uh, in dharchula region higher stress is building up and it may result into a major earthquake so these are the seismic gaps in himalayan region now we will also see the significance of seismic gap theory so it helps us we have already seen it helps us in prediction of a major earthquake in considered region right so we have seen uh, what was suggested by ff duto but uh, on the other hand these are uh, these predictions are not as accurate as we expect them to be right so not necessarily every 40 years a particular segment of plate boundary would experience a major earthquake so that is not a necessity right and that is why uh, it is still under intense study so it is a field of further exploration so uh, though it uh, alerts us in certain uh, certain sense but it is not very accurate to predict earthquake along the plate boundaries so this was about uh, seismic gap now uh, when when it is to expect a question so we are, we can expect a question in geography optional paper so it may be say a short note your uh, 1a section or even this is in paper 1 question 1 a and it will be for say 5 uh, marks or 10 marks so this can be the nature of question uh, writing a short note on seismic gap and uh, whenever that question is asked you are supposed to write what this seismic gap is and secondly uh you can also write about the theory of seismic gap and most importantly draw the uh you are supposed to draw this particular map and mention the seismic gap along the himalayan region because these are the most significant uh, seismic gap in the uh, indian context right so this was about seismic gap and you are supposed to write all these components so make sure that you are writing a wonderful answer depending on these components right so with this i close uh in next uh, few sessions we will see some more contemporary issues such as urban climate and uh, urban flooding then there is a uh, issue of urban heat island <coughs> heat island so we will see in next session what is urban climate fine so till then goodbye